Before I even start this video, I just want to say that I haven't done commentary in a very long time, and you can definitely hear it in this recording. Um, no amount of jump cuts can fix it. It's just the lack of confidence, really, and also I'm just terrible at speaking. I decided to make this video because I wanted to talk about Rain Whispers and what their non-binary representation means to a bigger grand scheme of things and also to me personally. I myself basically grew up without any representation of non-binary identities for until I was in my late teens. Um, I just recently turned 18 and, and for the first time, uh, the Owl House provided me with what I think is really good representation. Um, there's a few other characters I think are notable, uh, that I, like, Double Trouble, um, Steven Universe kind of did a few with, uh, Stevani and then w whatever that one person's name was in Steven Universe Future, <laughs> I can't remember, uh, and those are the only people I can think of at the top of my head. Rain Whispers is completely different, and I want to talk about that, so have fun listening to that for however long this video ends up being once I've edited it together, because I have no fucking idea. <laughs> Sorry, we're not accepting new members. Is that any way to treat an old friend, Rain Whispers? Rain as a character is really cool to me. Um, I don't watch that many shows, all things considered. I, I really don't. I don't read that much. I, I, the only reason I will ever watch something is because my brain has decided to go absolutely insane over it. Owl House being one of those current obsessions where I literally, every second of the day, just another thought goes to it. Like, I can't, I can't escape. It's, it's against my will. I'm, I'm being shackled by the chains of my own brain and... I, I am a prisoner to my own my own torment, but that doesn't take away from the fact that in mainstream media, you know, things that get popular, like, with a lot of people watching them to the point where you can just bring it up and people probably know what you're talking about, the Owl House being one of these, most of them don't have non-binary characters in them, most of them have characters that go by they them pronouns, most of them don't have trans characters in general. But the Owl House is the first time that in mainstream media, especially mainstream cartoons, especially children's cartoons, that I have seen a non-binary character that has a vital role in the story and is actually an important character that isn't an alien. And I know they're not humans because they're witches, but the witches are very humanoid. They're basically treated as the same thing. They're not treated as aliens. They are literally just treated like human characters are. They're, they're just a different species, but like it's very obvious that like they function, they're very humanoid, they're purposely very humanoid, uh, to the point where they are so similar that they can literally have fam- like, they're not that different. It's- they, they're basically just like a different race. Like, <laughs> just they have pointy ears. Like, if- if Rain was one of the demons, and- the demon was the only non-binary character that you see, then then I would kind of be sitting here like, well, that's iffy. But it's not. Rain's a witch. Rain's very like a human for the most part. It's, it's not this like big thing. They're literally just introduced. They look the way they do. They happen to be kind of androgynous. And on top of that, they're just treated as every other character. There's no stereotypes. There's there is nothing like you could literally replace rain with any other character and it still works they just made a character and they were just like let's just give this character the pronouns because why not literally no further explanation is needed for that and the show treats it as such and something as simplistic as that as simple as that you never come across it and it's so refreshing to see. And I remember like watching people react to um, Them's the Breaks Kids, the season two episode with Ida and Rain's backstory. And there were so many, almost every single person I watched reacting to that had the same reaction that they were so glad that when Rain was little, they weren't misgendered by the other kids. They're one of the strongest witches here. <laughs> I also love that even then we respected the pronouns, they, them. Thank you. Juice, and they don't share it with anyone. 
Oh, yay! Rain's pronouns being expected, respected, and understanding them early. Oh, that makes me happy. Because it's such, it's something that you expect to see. It is, like, with so many LGBT storylines, the main point of conflict comes from the hate and discrimination that they face. And to see a character that, for once, doesn't follow that storyline, they are in a world where it's just accepted, that's just the way it is. They're dealing with the whole religious witch cult going on with the Titans, Will, and Bellows. Like, they don't they don't have time to put in hate crimes in. <laughs> they don't have time to put in more hate crimes in here. Like, they have enough. They've, they've reached their hate crime co quota in this show. They can't put transphobia on this bitch. It's so, it's so refreshing. <laughs> it's so refreshing to see. And it makes, it made me so happy. Like, oh my god, I remember when because I knew nothing about this character existing. I, I think some people did beforehand. I don't know if they... I knew nothing about Rain first watching this episode. Like, when I went into um, Ida's Requiem, I didn't know anything about Rain's character. And so when I picked up on the fact that they were using they, them pronouns for Rain, and, like, Rain was, like, actually this, like, really important character to the plot and was going to be, like, a reoccurring appearance on the show, I, like, lost my mind. Like, I was so happy because not only is this, like, non-binary representation that's good, it's on fucking Disney. It's on fucking Disney Channel. Like, do you, do you understand how big that is? Like, Disney allowed that to happen, and it's on there. And like little kids are seeing that and it's it's just the way it is they don't present it as anything they don't even really explain it they're just like oh yeah they use they them pronouns and they could have given them any other pronouns all things considered they didn't have to make rain non-binary they didn't have to go through the trouble that i know that dana and the crew had to go through to even let Rain be non-binary. They didn't have to do any of that because ultimately it doesn't change a single goddamn thing about Rain's story. But the thing is, is they did put in that effort. They put in that effort. They fought for that representation to be there, and they fought to have Rain. But like, they didn't have to, and they did. And I will forever be thankful that the crew, Dana and the crew, put that effort in to make Rain a canon non-binary character. It's just so important. And another thing to add to Rain is Rain is a middle-aged non-binary person. It's so refreshing to see because like everyone, like when you think of non-binary, like the generally majority of people in society, especially older generations are like, oh, that's a younger generation thing or oh, it's more common in younger generations, but like it did exist. It is a thing in older generations. And it is so nice that the Owl House decided that not only was one of its characters gonna be non-binary, but one of its middle-aged characters is gonna be non-binary. I'm sure there are older non-binary people who, like, know about the L house and are just, like, losing their goddamn minds, because they, 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 those people grew up never thinking they were ever gonna be represented at all, and, you know, lo and behold, <laughs> there, there it is, <laughs> there's Rain Whispers, the defier of all odds, <laughs> There's not much more to say about it other than it's good representation, that it makes people feel seen, that it makes people happy, and that's what represent, repre representation comes down to, is feeling seen. Feeling like you can relate to that character, and, and as a non-binary person myself, it's so, so nice to see yourself represented. I, I never really realized how impactful it would be to me, but like, seeing Rain and like, the fact that they were such an important character, and not only that, such a cool character. I, I was, I literally, I almost, I was like crying. Like, I literally almost started crying. And I don't cry very easily, but like, I was, I was almost crying over that. It just, it makes me so happy. You know, the fiction in a lot of senses is an escape from reality. And even though it can deal with real world, world issues, which obviously the Alhas does, it still very nice to kind of have that little escape from reality and for us the owl house is very much an escape from homophobia transphobia and just anti-lgbt antics in general the universe of the boiling aisles is that's just the normal there i don't know what you're running from but a great witch once told me 
something about punching fears in the face? What I'm trying to say is, don't give up so easily. To have a show that just has an underrepresented demographic given the chance to have a spotlight in a character and it's just treated as normal, it's just treated as part of the world, it's such a nice little thing to kind of, you know, give you hope that one day the world might look like that and the hope that one day you might find people who accept you like the crew has accepted this and just that we're not as invisible as it seems like we are a lot of the time and that there are people out there who are going to fight to acknowledge our existence. It's a very comforting and empowering thing and uh, it just makes me happy it's it's gonna it's gonna do wonders i think in the world of western entertainment if you enjoyed this video um consider watching some of my other content uh when they come out because this will be my first video bye